I mean really bad girls. We're going to be talking about bad girls today on Ripley Radio. Hi, I'm Ralph with an F. Welcome to Ripley Radio, an on-demand podcast. And let's just go around the room and introduce everybody that's going to be part of the show today. Edward Meyer is here again. How are you, Edward? I'm good. I'm good. Doing all right? Doing all right. Intern Abby is back. Hi, guys. Glad to be back. We, do we have to start paying her yet, Tim? Well, she's a return intern, right? Yeah, return no, intern. Like, well, I don't know. Do, I, do we have to pay you ever here? Uh, interns don't get paid, do no. they? No. Okay. It's okay. just okay. for fun. They, yeah. You know, in, in today's world, interns actually have to pay for the privilege of being an oh, intern. Right. It's, it's, there you go. We missed yeah. an income source. Yeah. So, okay, Abby, pay up and you can remain on the show. And our producer is Tim O'Brien. I love another revenue source. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the Bedside Book of Bad Girls is Great a book title. by uh, Michael Rudder. Is uh, well, he's written an interesting book. This isn't about current bad girls because there's plenty of them around. I mean, you know, just check the the local tabloids. But this is the outlaw women of the American West, and Michael Rudder will join us later with some amazing and very shocking and kind of gruesome tales about these bad girls. Steampunk. When I say steampunk, have you ever heard of what steampunk is? Oh, is that a band from Cleveland? Um, no. Steampunk is, well, we'll tell you about it. We're going to give you a lesson on what steampunk is and why there is an Oklahoma Steampunk Expo coming up, and Tim O'Brien's going to be there. We'll also hear from Edward about Ripley's collection of steampunk stuff. Uh, the World's Fittest Man, revealed by Mark Hartsman from AOL's Weird News, and we'll have our baseball version of Spot the Nut. That's coming up. But first, we're going to talk about the Weekly Weird. If you go to Ripley's.com and sign up for this, you can get all these weird news updates in your email inbox every Monday. For free. For free. No charge. Exactly what we're paying Intern Abbey. Every week. Every week. Yeah, consistently. Free. And free. No doubt about it. So, Abby, you're going to start Abby, don't feel bad. They don't pay me either. So. <laughs> so, what's our first weekly weird update this week? Well, we had a defendant who, well, I call it defendant because <laughs> at the courthouse. We have a courthouse here at Ripley's? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> um, actually, in Monticello, New York, there's a guy who showed up to court an hour and a half late, drunk, mm -hmm. and carrying an open can of beer. That's bad. Yes. <laughs> and he had several cans of beers in a backpack, it looks like. That's and even worse. He walked through the metal detector, which is how they found it. Beep. And he showed up to court that way, and the judge asked him if he enjoyed his liquid lunch. Mm. And the guy's like, he said he was sorry, but obviously it's kind of late by then. What was he showing up for court for? What was his charge? Drunk driving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even worse. <laughs> Probably uh, not a good idea. The judge definitely didn't feel bad for him and revoked his bond and sent him back to jail. No lack of evidence, obviously. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> so that's exactly what you shouldn't do if you're facing drunk driving charges. Don't do that. Exactly. Okay. Let me give you guys an, an update here. Edward, what is it? Well, let me phrase it this way. What is the one sporting activity that you should probably never do without your clothes? Okay. Just think of one that would be extreme. I mean, like really the worst thing to do. I know. Motorcycle riding. Oh, <laughs> okay. That is terrible, but, but not nearly as stupid as this. I'll tell you in a moment. Abby, what do you think? Um, gymnastics. Gymnastics, okay, <laughs> without your clothes on. <laughs> Potential <laughs> Olympic uh, sport, I doubt it. Tim, what do you think? I would say snow skiing. Did you read the story? No, I didn't. He's absolutely right. You've got to be kidding me. In China, hundreds of people attended a party, and it was for naked skiing. And they incorporated, after the naked skiing, assuming you survive it, a costume party at the Tianchi International Ski Resort. They wore a bizarre range of costumes, and 22 of them did sit at the slopes naked. A spokesperson for the resort said, we have this party at the end of the skiing season each year, but this has been the best yet, which is an odd way to define best. But they had prizes for best costume and coldest beauty contest. I'm not sure how they judge. I, I would have loved to have been a judge there. on that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm from Nebraska on this one because I don't walk, I, I don't snow ski. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I can see some obvious dangers. I can see <laughs> the obvious cold element. Right. But there are several places in America that have ski competitions in bathing suits, so it's not that much different. It just can't be comfortable. It just cannot be comfortable. I don't know. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm not out there on the slopes, but I'm not sure. I, I think it's as dangerous as some other things would be. <laughs> well, here's my vote for sure about the weirdest thing 
that could have happened to these people at a Starbucks in Boston. I think what uh, happened actually could be the weirdest thing that could have happened. Here's, here's what happened. You're in Starbucks, imagine. You're in Boston. Door slams open. Bam.